my beautiful ladies welcome back to the golden dash and if you're new to the channel welcome to the golden dash my name is disha and i'm a beauty content creator and i love to discuss makeup skin care beauty you no know, hair care everything and anything that the girly stuff related to makeup or skin i love to discuss it so today also we are going to discuss about about this makeup look which i have created using only sugar pop products and honestly speaking i am not really impressed with this because uh, i would let you know my uh, reviews also about it when we are using the products but i have used all the sugar pop products which are come here in this kit this kit is called the all you need makeup kit this retails for 17.99 rupees on the sugar pop website and uh, for those of you who do not know what is sugar pop so sugar pop uh, is a makeup brand which is a subsidiary of the sugar cosmetics which is aimed at uh, you know younger audience and the teenagers all these kits are created keeping in mind the college going or the teenage audiences or the consumers so this is all you need makeup kit so one by one we'll quickly see what all are the products first of all this pouch this is also a part of the kit you get this sugar pop gratitude journal which is nice journal which reminds me of the slam books which we used to use in school time and maybe the teenagers of today do not know the slam book era that we have lived in but that used to be a time you know when we used to have slam books filled by all our friends and everyone in the classes then you've got this pack of stickers i don't know why what are these things doing in a makeup kit okay then i've got some bookmarks okay so this one is good vibes only and find your bliss these look nice but i don't think that i'll be able to use them anywhere else other than my home okay so next up you get a scrunchy so there was a color option if you wanted a blue or a pink and not a very good quality like i did not like the quality of satin and uh, it's an okay product and also it has these threads coming out oh. so not a very impressive quality of scrunchy i would say now whatever is remaining are the actual makeup products like you know out of 17 five products are like this only so you are actually left with only 12 makeup products so first of all we have a beauty blender which i have used already because i did this makeup using this beauty blender only and uh, there was no other applicator so i used this for blush also then we have a compact this is really nice then a uh, foundation and there was a concealer also when i was choosing uh, whatever other items that i have to get because for the base product for the lipstick lip liner everything they they gave you choices during the order so i chose a concealer i clearly remember i chose a concealer but it's not there then i have the lip a uh, bullet lipstick it's in the shade lilac another lip product we have a lip gloss in the shade cotton candy then you have a lip uh, liquid lipstick in the shade what shade are you brick 14 another lip product we have a lip balm which is in the shade strawberry one more lip product it's a lip liner in the shade pink waves i like the names actually then after having five lip products we have just two eye products there's no liner it's just uh, there's a volumizing mascara and you have a kajal kajal had a choice of you know uh, blue black green and brown so i chose brown for that then you have a nail lacquer this is in the shade lilac crush which i'm wearing and last product is the sugar pop blush in the shade rose so these are all the products which came in this all you need makeup kit which i do not personally agree that you know these are the only products that you need uh, there is a major missing of a brow product there is a major missing of a primer and an eyeliner and of course makeup fixer so makeup fixer and eye shadow can be done without like you no know, but brow and primer should have been there i guess 
Oh, let's see how did I achieve this makeup. If you are interested in knowing how did I achieve this look using all these products, then please keep on watching. So with the power of editing, we are finally here. I am with my bare face now. I've tied up my hair and here are all the sugar pop products that we had discussed about. Here are the stickers as well. So yeah, let's just dive it in one by one and let know what I feel about it. And uh, this is going to be like a kind of first impressions video also for makeup products because I have personally not used sugar pop products as of now. So this is going to be a very like first impressions kind of. By the way, I'm wearing the same nail color that I have got in that kit. And I chose this nail color also. It was a beautiful lilac color. And how long does it stay? It is yet to be seen. So since there is no primer in here, so I have uh, primed my face using one of my favorites, Blue Heaven Primer. It's not that they do not have any primer, but uh, it's not included in this kit. And this is the primer that I'm having on my face right now. Now let's moisturize the lips first because we have a lip balm over here. Alright, so here we have the Sugar Pop Lip Balm in the shade 06 Strawberry. I'll just open it quick and apply it on my lips so that while doing our makeups, our lips can, you know, seek in that moisturization. It is a tinted lip balm in the shade Strawberry, so it's going to be a very light pink shade, I'm guessing. So this is what it looks like. So very sheer tint, I would say. So I'll just apply it quick. Right on the camera, I can see there is surely some tint showing on my face. So yeah, for any teenager, if uh, you're going to the college, you're going to the school, you want a light you know, pink tint, you can surely go for this. And they've got a few variants also, I guess, because I remember choosing this variant uh, in my kit. So they've got a clear variant, they've got a brown variant. So you can definitely choose whichever one you like. And uh, instant reaction, I would say it is feeling quite moisturized until now. But we'll have to know because moisturizers and lip balms, these things have to stay for a long time for them to judge. Alright, so I'll just dry my hair roughly with this crunchy so that, you know, I'll at least use it. Uh, I'm not uh, quite liking the quality of the satin because I have had better scrunchies with me. But it's okay. So this is the beauty blender that I've gotten with the kit and it is quite squishy and quite nice. Feels very soft. Now we'll quickly wet this up and start with the makeup. Okay, so I've dampened my beauty blender and now I'm gonna take a few drops of this Sugar Pop foundation. It's in the shade 02 Almond and this time I wanted to be a bit, you know, careful about choosing my shade because choosing foundation shades online or concealer shades online is a task and I have been failing like from a past few times. So I'll just take Okay, so after minutes of struggle, I am finally able to take out the foundation. It is quite thick in consistency and I'll just take my blender and start applying it. I'll just make a few drops all over my face. I guess this is going to be too yellow for me, I guess. this foundation claims to you know last for up to 10 hours so if it lasts for 10 hours and in this budget then it will be really amazing if any teenager is there who is on a pocket money wants to buy makeup wants to wear new makeup then it is nice individually it costs around 300 rupees i guess uh, yeah, it costs $3.99 individually if you go for it and uh, I guess it's given me a quite decent coverage like like my skin but better type of coverage is there and the blender has worked really well and I took two pumps of the foundation but those were more than sufficient for me. And about the stay part, we'll have to see, like if I'm traveling somewhere, I'll have to check for that, that if it works well on the travel as well. 
Now concealer is not there. Like oh, I, what I'll do is I'll just uh, take half a pump of the foundation only and apply it under my eyes so that you know I'll just add a bit more coverage on my under eyes because this is something which I use when I am traveling somewhere. I've forgotten to keep like a lot of makeup stuff. And I'm only with my foundation, I don't have my concealer, then I use this trick. But I apply another layer of foundation on the dark spots. Alright, so foundation is done with, concealing with the help of foundation only is done with. Now we'll just set this entire thing with a compact. So I have with me Sugar Pop Long Wear Compact. So this... Uh, is in the shade 02 beige and it retails for 249 rupees individually and you get a kind of sponge in this and uh, there's a plastic packaging i hope the shade matches if it matches then there's nothing like it so i'll just set the under eyes i won't set the entire face if i have done the foundation or con wherever I put you know, two layers of foundation there only I'll so pretty much it and the shade also matches me quite well I'm happy about it because shade match is a tricky thing in online shopping so we are done with two products actually four the scrunchy beauty blender foundation and compact now what we're gonna do is uh, there's no brow product there's no eyeshadow uh, so that can be used as a brow product and individually also again they were out of stock there were not many options also in both these categories but uh, they were out of stock so we do not have anything to do our brows now we'll just uh, make use of whatever eye makeup and lip makeup that we have and let's go with the flow all right so right now i realize that uh, i've not just received the concealer i have also not received the eyeliner which was supposed to be a part of this. They said that there are going to be three uh, eye products, eyeliner, mascara and uh, kajal. So I just have uh, the kajal and mascara. I do not have the eyeliner with me. So why did you do that to me, Sugar Pop? So let's make uh, use of whatever we have now. This is the kajal in the shade 03 brown. So the reason for choosing this brown shade of kajal was that, you know, first, I do not have a brown kajal. Next, I just thought maybe, you know, I can try to fill in my brows if possible, if the shade matches. But I am pretty doubtful because this is very light brown to my brows. Let's see if we can do some. So the plan of using brown kajal as a brow filler is not working well because... Maybe on camera it is not looking that weird, but uh, in reality it is looking very weird. So what I'm going to do is that I'll just use my Miss Clear Brow Pencil and uh, then see you guys in a jiffy. Okay, so I filled in my brows using the Miss Clear Pencil once again, my favorite pencil. So the inside kit also lacked uh, an eyebrow product and so did the Sugar Pop one. So uh, now I'm just going to apply the kajal and mascara super quick. So this is the brown kajal that we have. Just a bit. I think the benefit with brown kajals is that, you know, it just gives a wide enough look to your entire eye. So that uh, the eyes don't look dead as hell. And now we'll be using the mascara. This is the Sugar Pop Water Resistant Mascara, which is volumizing in the shade 01 Black. This did not have any choice. We just had the black shade in this kit. So we just quickly apply this. This claims to be a volumizing mascara and dramatically defines, enhances, and adds an extra lift to your lashes. Long lasting water resistant formula instantly volumizes your lashes without clumping. Let's see.
Do you notice any difference? Because I don't. <coughs> so I guess there's no prominent difference that can be seen. But let's move on to the lip products. Now this is something which you know disappointed me to the core with this kit that they have added four lip products. There's a lip balm, it's a lip liner, there's a lip color uh, in liquid lipstick form, there's a lip color in the bullet lipstick form. Now instead of having these four lip products, I say that you know you can have a primer or a brow product. Yeah. So I guess it was not necessary to have all these products. Instead, you could give some useful products. So for the lip liner, I have the Sugar Pop lip liner in the shade 02 Pink Waves. So it claims that it is enriched with Yohoba oil and shea butter goodness. This waterproof lip liner glides on smooth and delivers a sleek matte finish without any smears and smudges. Ideal for lining and defining your lips before lipstick application. This one guarantees a show stealing out. Okay, so I just, you know, wanted a good lip liner. Let me give you a swatch. This is a good pink color, bright pink. Okay, so just let me use this. like anything i was not even applying too much pressure it was just out little bit so i guess when you say creamy it does not mean this creamy see this was the part which was out okay i'll just be a bit more careful Okay, so overall impressions like it is way too creamy. Like I was just having this much of this uh, product out and it just broke. I wasn't even applying good pressure or anything. But color point of view, I guess it is really nice. And uh, now we'll just apply the lipstick over it. Okay, so there was confusion. There's, there are no four products for the lips. There are five products for the lips. <laughs> Okay, so you have a lip balm, a lip liner, a bullet lipstick, liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. Five products for the lips but none for the brows, none for the priming, none is there for eyeshadow. <sighs> what to do? So maybe it is like curated keeping in mind a lot of the teenage crowd or the early 20s crowd who are rushing to college and work, you know, the early stages of work and everywhere. So maybe it's for them, so that is why they do not have time to apply a lot of things and they're just in a rush. Maybe, but uh, I'll just have to now guess that uh, which one should I use. Maybe I'll just, I'll give the swatches for all three of them and then we'll decide on which one we're using. So this one is in the shade 11 Lilac. It's a good color. I like it quite much. Then this liquid lip color is in the shade 1 Coat Brick, which is one of my favorites. Okay, it's more on the red side. Then this lip gloss is in the shade 02 Cotton Candy. Uh, I don't think it the lip gloss can be worn like over something like as a topper gloss so i'll just avoid this right now and maybe we'll go with this bullet lipstick only right now i'll just use this okay so this was the application and this is the color which has come out it is a bit too pink I would say um, on my skin now we'll use the last product which is the blush this is the sugar pop blush which is in the shade 01 rose 
So ultra HD plush. I don't know what that means, but let me give you a swatch. Super quick. It is a powder blush. Quite pigmented, I would say. Uh, let me use the sponge only. Find this. Maybe I've taken way too much. Should not have done this. Way too pink for me. Um. Okay, so I've tried to tone down the blush a bit by, you know, applying the compact. And yes, we have used all the products that have come. And I'll just do a quick touch up and be back with you. So this was my final look using all the Sugar Pop products that I have gotten in this kit, which is named as a All You Need Makeup Kit, which I personally do not feel that it is All You Need Makeup Kit because, uh, Honestly, for even a beginner makeup, you need much more than this. Uh, because as a beginner, even if I'm not uh, wanting to invest a lot, I would want like to have all the products. And especially some vital products were missing in there, which were like, uh, in eyeshadow, I can understand, like not everyone wants an eyeshadow in their kit every time, every day. Because these all maybe like everyday makeup products but for everyday also you need a brow product you need a primer if you're applying makeup on a daily basis so overall i was impressed by a few products individually but as a kit it did not impress me at all and when you're saying all you need makeup kit it is not all you need at all so i was not personally impressed by the combination especially you know uh, when you are keeping all these journals and handbags, stickers and bookmarks. Those are not really needed in a makeup kit. Okay, so maybe they are like targeting the audience or the consumers with, who are in their college time, their teenage time. So maybe it is made to attract them, but uh, it did not impress me personally, my personal opinions. I've used sugar products previously. I have loved them. I love their lipsticks. I love their foundations, compacts, everything. But sugar pop, I would say overall as a kit, I would rate it as a 6 out of 10. Uh, the best products which I found were the lip liner, though it broke, but the application was really good. Compact foundation, I loved them. Uh, kajal, I do not see like anything doing on my eyes because brown and my pigmented eyes it did not do much then lip balm it was not very nourishing like uh, i applied it and i was doing all my makeup and after like 20 minutes when i you know tried to remove it to apply my lipstick it was not really you know moisturizing and nourishing so i did not like the lip balm also nail paint i'm loving until now but uh, let's see how long does it stay the color and application is super nice i love the color it's very nice very professional kind of color like it can be worn every day on work also so overall impressions i would like to buy the individual products whatever i like but as a kit it did not do good for me so let me know in the comment section what was your experience with sugar pop in person if you have any and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have watched the video till now like that don't forget to hit that like button and of course, share it with your friends and family so that we can have a good, good community and ask them to subscribe as well. And until we meet the next time, it's a goodbye from the Golden Blush. Love you all so much.